all right guys so i want to show you how to configure network file system on a linux machine so this is actually a red hat enterprise linux 8 as you can see here and i have configured local repositories on it because uh, it's not subscribed to the Red Hat network. Okay. So I'm just going to install the packages that I need for my NFS. So any packages, let's start with uh, NFS. I want that installed. That's why I'm putting the asterisk there. Okay. And we'll just say yes and the installation will proceed. Okay, so the installation is complete. So right now I will open up the export file which is located under the exe directory. Uh, ex exports okay so I have my export file and I will just put in what the directory that I will be exporting here I want to export a directory called NFS or let me call it something else or let me just call it NFS share okay so uh, if you want to export yours to a particular computer you put you can put the IP address of that computer but for me I'm exporting to my home network that means any computer in my network can connect to this share if it's a Linux machine of course so um, the subnet max of my address is 24 and I'm gonna give it read write permission and I'm gonna sync it so that read write permission applies to subdirectories under under the main directory okay so I will write and quit and then I will start the NFS service system CTO enable NF or well, let me just do dash dash now NFS server okay so when I do dash dash now I want the service to be enabled that means it will start up in the next boot uh, automatically you don't need to manually start it but I also want to start it right now okay so the system has been enabled and started the service not the system rather so uh, I also need to start this other service called ROPC bind okay uh, there is no dash or PC by and then the next thing that I need to do is open up the firewall ports so that computers in my network can discover the share that exists on this machine so I will do firewall CMD permanent add service and fs that was a wrong service nfs and the next service that i want to open the port for is ropc by and the next service and the last one is called mount d which allows uh, 
computers to mount to it. Okay, so I'm just going to reload the firewall to implement the new rules. And that was a success. So now if I export my file system and do AVR so that I can view what is being exported. Okay, so um, that is what we are exporting right now. We are exporting the directory NFS share to this network, to the world network. Um, for, however, um, this directory is not does not exist yet because we've not created it. So let's go ahead and create it right now. Um, NFS share. Okay, and we need to give it some permissions. First of all, um, this directory is going to be mounted by users that are on other computers. So if we allow the ownership of this share to any user on this computer, then that's going to restrict mounting. Therefore, we have to change the ownership of this NFS share to nobody. Okay, the group ownership to nobody also. And then NFS share. Okay, and then we, that should be done recursively so that it applies to some directory. So I'm just gonna do it again. Okay. Mm. That's not what I wanted to do. True mode. Change the permission of the file of the shared of the shared folder to allow everybody read and write and execute access to it. Because we don't know who which user will be mapping to it. So we don't want to allow any any restrictions. Okay, so that is done. So let's just export our share again and make sure that everything is okay. So now we are not getting any errors anymore. So the next thing to do is to move on to the client machine and set up the mount point. So the first thing, of course, is to install the NFS packages. Okay. I will say yes on the client machine and allow the command line tools for NFS share to be installed. And then the next thing I will do is I will create a mount point make directory I will just call it share okay and then I will do show mount dash a to try to discover the share that exists in our network so we want to find out whether there is a share that exists in our networks and that is shared from this machine 192.168.0.117 that is the I, uh, IP address of our of our NFH server okay so uh, this server is sharing this folder. This is what we actually set up in the in the server, so we can mount to it. Or oh, the, the the a better way to mount is just to put the mount information in the fs tab for uh, file. So I will open up the etc fs tab. And I will scroll to the bottom 
and create an entry there. So what are we mounting? We are mounting 192, 168, 0, 117, NFS underscore share. And the mount point that we want to mount it to is called share. Okay. And the file system type is NFS4, Network File System 4th uh, Edition. And then we just do our default 0 and 0. Save and quit. And just do a mount A. And our file system has been mounted. So if I do df -h, there it is, right here. So that is our file system that has been mounted. And if we move to this directory, let me move to that directory. So cd into that directory and touch a few files test one to six dot txt rs so those are the files that we have created in this directory but these files are not actually stored in this client machine these files uh, the storage space that they will take up that they will consume is in the in the NFS server under the NFS share directory. So if I move back to the server right here, and if I move to the share, and just list the directory, you can see the files that we created in the client machine are right here in the server sitting and waiting for us okay so guys that will be it for this video thank you for watching and stay blessed